Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Call of Duty Warzone application is having issues connecting to online services. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up a web browser. And I'm going to have a link to a support page that Activision hosts here. And if there's any issues with the servers, you can go ahead and see if it says all platforms, if they're online or not. And if you click the little drop down where it says select game, you can select your game here. And then you would go down and you would see if there are any issues being reported worldwide. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And this is probably going to be about it. So if you're having an issue, you know, I'd recommend checking back on this page a couple of minutes later. It might have just popped up for you. So it might take a few minutes for it to recognize on this web page here. That's more likely than not going to be the biggest issue you'd be coming across. You can attempt to do something further on your system. If you're having an issue with your just general network connection, you can open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match should say command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration. Successfully flush the DNS resolve for cache. Next command you want to type in is N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should go back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must reset the computer in order to complete the reset. Proceed to close out of here and then actually restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.